afternoon and welcome to Grain TV. Today is Friday, January 13, 2012. I'm Logan Burgess. Joining me to my right is my good friend Brock Shimano. Brock, kind of a wild uh, week here in the grain complex. Early in the week, we saw real buying as South American weather uh, worries kind of persisted. Late in the week, though, the big story everyone was watching was the USDA WASDE report that came out on Thursday, sending the market uh, well lower. After all the dust settled here, can you take us through uh, the price action that we saw this week? We did see strength early in the week. Later in the week, we did see two straight days of selling. Today, we were down 12 on corn. Soybeans down 24 and a quarter. Wheat in Chicago down two and three quarters, and Kansas City wheat down three. And for the week, similar story. Corn down a whopping 44 cents. Soybeans down 38 and a quarter. Uh, Chicago wheat down 22 and a half. And the lone bright spot, if any, is the Kansas City wheat only down 10 this week. Uh, something that we were paying attention to early in the week was precipitation in South America. USDA did come out on Wednesday and reduce their uh, anticipated production from South America. Logan, why don't you take us through some of the precipitation totals that we did see? Yeah, you know, Brock, just here in the last couple of days, we have seen some more precipitation coming to South America. Take a look here at this map provided by our, uh, by our friends over at Planalytics. You can see this is northern Argentina. The corn trade is going to be watching this region closely. Argentina is the second largest exporter of corn in the world, second only to the U.S. of A. And you can see that they really received some good precipitation here in the last two days between 58 and 72 millimeters in that Cordoba region that the trade has been watching. Um, you know, it seems like this, uh, the precipitation situation may be improving here into the weekend, into next week. That looked like it was weighing on the uh, grain trade a little bit today in Chicago. Another thing, though, putting some downward pressure on the grain trade was the dollar index. Brock, can you take us uh, through what happened there today? Yeah, we had some information come out as it pertains to some debt auctions in the European Union. Uh, but if you look back in time at the dollar index, uh, this chart comes from our fire tip trading software. All the way back to September, you see that 81 level has provided resistance. We first hit that level in early October and again in the middle of December. Now it looks like we've gotten over that resistance hurdle and it looks like that 81 level will be providing support as we move forward. Yeah, you know, it certainly does. You know, that the fundamental news we saw today was Standard & Poor's came out and actually downgraded five countries in the EU, most in the EU, excuse me. Most importantly was uh, Spain, Italy, and France. Um, so the trade was cert certainly watching that today with regards to the dollar index. You know, that uh, stronger dollar isn't going to help what we've seen to be uh, lagging export sales as of late, but we'll certainly keep you posted on that. Now that we've kind of got past this last WASDE report, Brock, it's really gonna, the, the trade's really going to turn its focus to South American weather and the dollar index, and here on Grain TV we'll certainly keep you informed about both those fronts. Follow us on Twitter, check us out on Facebook, get a hold of us at 877-GRAIN07. We appreciate your continued support, and we'll catch you next week. Have a good weekend.